Welcome to the Cultural Affairs and Tourism meeting for the month of February 2023. It's hard to believe that we've been doing this for two year, full years, I think it is now? Two years. Two yeah. years. Yeah. And uh, we have several events coming up that we're looking forward to. Um, in March, the first Saturday of March, it is, no, it is now St. Patrick's Month. <laughs> We no longer refer to it as St. Patrick's Day, it's St. Patrick's Month. And so we kick it off with a live traditional Irish concert here uh, at the church. It's the Friends of Irish Research are the ones that uh, host it. It's uh, co-sponsored by the uh, Brockton Cultural Council. So we're uh, excited about having the band Marrow back with us. So that's uh, Saturday, March 4th at 1 o'clock. And it will go to about 3 o'clock. And uh, in the past, BCA has been there and recorded and, and then posted it online for us uh, afterwards. I'm also going to be busy that morning because we have a group coming up from Falmouth. The Falmouth Genealogy uh, Society is coming up for tours of our research library here. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, every time we get the chance to talk about it and what's going on here and now things are finally starting to open up across the board. I was so excited. I went to my chiropractor the other day, and they had a sign up that said masks are optional. And I had just found one, put it on, and it was, a, I think I set Olympic time in getting it off. Uh, but uh, again, we are coming out of things. We're getting together. And uh, I know there's going to be a few other events that will be mentioned tonight. And uh, Anne will be coming up in a little bit and talking about the, uh, the second annual uh, expo. And uh, again, I'm just glad that you're here. And I guess, uh, Anne, if you want to come and uh, talk about some of the other things that are been going on, because you have a longer list than I do. <laughs> okay, uh, we have a few things going on. First of all, um, thanks for everybody that was able to make it. And I realize, you know, everybody's getting back in the swing of things. It's uh, Thursday, February 9th, and already, and it's 6 p.m. here. Uh, that we hold these meetings uh, 11 times a year. Everyone is welcome, and it uh, doesn't cost anything, and it's just an opportunity to announce what's going on and uh, what you might be interested in promoting, participating in, you know, et cetera. So uh, let's, you know, Thursday, February 9th, the next one will be in March. Same type of thing, 6 p.m., you can float in any time. So we have a few things going on here. Um, first of all, you know, Pastor Reed mentioned his concert for, you know, because, as he mentioned, it will be Saturday, March 4th. And we'll be holding a meeting right after that. So that was you know, important to, to mention that. Okay, we're getting ready for the second annual Cultural Peers and Tourism Expo, which will be Saturday, March 25th, 10 to 2. It's free to attend. It's free to participate. And it will be held at Broughton Community Access. And there is plenty of parking there. So we're really excited about having people come. We have at least nine if not more, um, groups, uh, whether you're making jewelry, whether you're um, a volunteer-based nonprofit, whether you're a uh, crafter, and, oh, uh, I mean, again, it, it's limitless how many people can participate. We highly encourage it. We support local businesses. We support individuals that are just, I don't know, starting out in a hobby and trying to make it grow or what have you. Okay, um, I want to mention that, um, again, you know, it's coming up on Valentine's Day, so everybody happy Valentine's. And right after that kicks off the Lenten season. There will be a Lenten luncheon starting uh, Friday, February 24th. It's free to attend. Donations are accepted, um, you know, $5 usually, for the homemade meals and terrific homemade desserts. And uh, this is all held at the First Evangelical Lutheran Church at 900 Main Street with, again, plenty of parking, 
and it's, it starts at about 12 noon. We tell people to come in about quarter of 12, every, you know, these are Fridays, six Fridays. And the first one's going to be uh, chairing a presentation with Laura Streist, the executive director, and people don't realize how uh, massive that food bank is and all the other uh, programs they do. We um, want to make sure that people realize that Council on Aging, to me, Okay, biased here, senior citizen, but um, there, it, it, there's so many programs that they do, and they're located at present. They will be moving for the renovation. We're not sure when, and they, they always say Father Kenny Way, but it is the intersection of Main Street, Father Kenny Way, diagonally across the street from the Y, and uh, brought to Public Library and right next to St. Patrick's Church. But uh, they're going to be having a, an author here, and uh, a woman, written about a true story about a woman during, you know, as we celebrate Black History Month. And uh, this will be at 1 p.m. Friday, February 17th. And uh, this is, this woman, her name is Fanny. She was the uh, one of 20 children, the youngest of 20 children, which kind of blows my mind. And uh, she stopped school at 12 to collect pick cotton. And later on, she ended up being one of uh, these individuals that marched and rallied for civil rights. And at her, her life story is amazing, and the author is going to be there. And uh, again, this is free to anybody over 60. You know, feel free to contact um, 508. 580-7811, Council on Aging, and register or show up that day. But it's just a, a demonstration of all the positives that are going on in the city. We just had our African-American flag raising for the second time last week. And, and we have uh, a whole lot of good going on, and we were just talking prior to that. On Saturday, March 11th, they will be having the return of the recognizing first responders. This one will be at St. Edith Stein. And unfortunately, we lost you know, people during COVID, not of COVID. We want to clear that and clear that up. And they're going to be recognizing them. It's a pretty phenomenal opportunity. We cannot emphasize enough encouraging you to participate in Cultural Affairs and Tourism 2023. Give me a call. My name is Ann at 774-297-4939. Ah, again, the enterprises asked me, they would love to hear from you. Send your pictures of your positive events in the community, your meetings, your uh, different recognition of individuals. Her name is Kathy, K-Bossa, B-O-S-S-A, because she is the boss, at enterprisenews.com. And we want to thank you know, all these groups that support positives going on in the community. And then I'm going to let other people come up uh, to do announcements. But since I'm up here, uh, Garden Club will be having their meeting on Monday, February 27th. It's always the last, uh, fourth Monday of the month, forgive me. Um, doors open at 6.30 at Our Lady of Lords. Uh, this is free to the public. And we're going to learn how to make bone marrow soup. You know, get the proteins and all the positives going on in your body and warm you up on winter night. Thank God we have not had too many cold ones. We had enough of this weekend. But in all, in all seriousness, this is, you know, very positive uh, meeting, group meeting, 6.30 p.m., open to the public, doors open, Our Lady of Lords, Monday, February 27th. We want to mention that, yes, Our Lady of Lords is on West Street, but the parking is on Tory, and there's plenty of it. And you just go in, go down the um, elevator to the basement, and there's plenty of uh, activity going on. And I uh, can't emphasize that enough. There are other, other events going on. I would be remiss, but um, as Pastor Reed mentioned, there's happening in Broughton.com, the website. There's Broughton Community Access, and they would love to hear from you, too either 508-580-2228, or um, you can do um, Sophie Blanc at sblanc, B-L-A-N-C, at bcatv.org. She wants to hear from you, and she will post all this 
all this is free, so I don't want to hear, oh, I'm going to it. No, it's not true. All right, so anyway, who wants to come up first here? We have a little audience going to make their announcements. Yes, you. You in the corner here. Come on up, Jamie, and talk about your positive uh, event, which sounds really fun. And actually, this gives you time to practice, people. So come on up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So yes, on um, February 25th, Saturday, February 25th, February 25th, from 7 to 10, um, African American Association of Brooklyn will be hosting a 90s skate at Carousel Family Fun Center, which is at 1055 Auburn Street in Whitman. Um, it's $10 admission, $5 for skate rental, open for all ages. It'll be a fun night, got food, raffles. Everything. Oh, I didn't know about the raffles. Oh, sounds yes. good. Yeah, okay. And um, address? 1055 Auburn Street in Whitman, Mass. Right on the Broughton line. Plenty of parking. Mm -hmm. Plenty yeah. of parking. Okay, anything else going on? How can they get a hold of you? You can get a hold of me at my email, aaabrockton at gmail.com or my cell phone, 508-423-9275. Thank you, Jamie. All right, anybody next? No? No, okay? No? All right. They're really... We got a, ch we got a chicken group tonight. But anyway, um, you know, um, I do want to announce um, Daniel Field Park Association continues to um, ask of you, if possible, to fill out a survey. Uh, let's see what's, what we have here. You know, www.surveymonkey.com backslash r backslash Brockton DW. And, oh, get this, they have it in the different languages. It can be in Cape Verdean Creole, it can be in Portuguese, Spanish, and English. And, um, yeah, we're, we're just down, um, it's quick. And this is really important because DW Field Park Association is terrific. And we, sh you know, other communities come, uh, we're what, on the border of Stoke on one side, Avon on the other, but Broughton is the biggest part. And uh, this is an opportunity for your input and any ideas. And DW Field Park Association, again, a volunteer based uh, nonprofit, has a lot of very positive, you know, events planned. And uh, they're going to be part of the expo too, so you'll learn about that. And uh, before I forget, Fuller Craft Museum had a um, reception two weeks ago. Uh, it was just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, January 28th, Saturday, January 28th. The uh, people don't realize this, so I don't want to hear this again either because you have school vacation going on. You're like, what do we need with the kids? Well, first of all, Fuller Craft Museum is free, so you can't say it costs you. One, two, they have a variety of different exhibits. One of them is pretty intense on food justice, and a lot of people in the city of Broughton participated in that exhibit. It's kind of neat. And the other one, they had a variety of different, you know, again, exhibits. But this was pretty neat, and I thought it was very important because it was very inclusive with um, the disabled community and their artistic talents. And, oh, and the embroidery was phenomenal. So again, there's all these positives. We have other groups that can't be here tonight. One is re re rehearsing their next performance. And we have, um, of course, Broughton High Sports, Broughton Student Sports during the um, school vacation, which is Monday, February 20th. And um, you know, it goes through the week there. And again, there's all kinds of activities for the kids. And I, you know, I didn't want to forget that if you want to know more about what's going on besides Broughton Community Access, happeningandbroughton.com, buzz around, and um, calling me at 774-297-49. You're always invited. These meetings are short, brief, and you get the opportunity for people to connect. We have an artist um, right here today, um, author, local author, and he is in business for himself. And um, his name is James Bruce, but apparently he's too shy to speak this evening. But um, he will be also part of, um, again, this expo. This expo, they, we provide you with the table. You just bring out your information, interact with individuals. It's a fun, positive time. I want to emphasize it's indoors. Yes, it's March 25th. 
We believe it's, um, I want to say the climate is generally more on our side, but anyway, this is all held inside. Encourage people that are Boy Scout leaders, uh, Girl Scout leaders, um, uh, the VFW Post, the and KFC, you know, Knights of Columbus, all these different groups that always want to do positives for the community, Rotary, they recently had a wonderful fundraiser, and we laughed to the point of tears, and a you know, really pretty much sold out performance with the hypnotists. We learned that some people have talents they never realized that they had. And, and again, um, there's associations in the city of Broughton, so you have business, you live around the area. Downtown Broughton Business Association, the next one is Wednesday, February 15th. And um, we have Montello Business that meets on the first Wednesday of the month. And uh, they meet at Home Cafe. 6 p.m. Yes, Home Cafe, 6 p.m. Um, you know, so the next one will be March 1st. And uh, they'll be able to talk about a variety of different issues. And Campello Business, they meet about eight times a year also. And they're usually the last Tuesday of the month at 12 noon at Cape Cod Cafe. So these are all places where you can you know, learn and connect and express your concerns. There are a variety of different, um, how would I say, proposed activities going on in the city. And we hope at some point that somebody from this, someone from the city can uh, fill us in on a few of these different things. But um, other than that, we want to emphasize the sooner you contact us about the expo, the better because um, I think we have about yeah, 25 tables. So um, that would be great if you don't have to carry your own. Be a couple of kids, you know, free activities going on. And the next meeting here will be, what, uh, March, um, let's see, uh, ninth. Ninth, March 9th again, 6 p.m. at 899 North Main Street. And uh, again, you can uh, contact us or just pop in. It's very informal, as you can see. Okay, we'll let you close on that. Right. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, you know, just keep posting, uh, looking on, you know, Facebook and new and the news here to keep up up to date with what's going on with Brockton Hospital. They still, oh, they had, I know they had meetings yesterday, uh, so no announcements have come out yet as to exactly what the plans are. Um, I was involved in one meeting yesterday, and I suggested that there be facilities like ours that be willing to uh, take on a department so that they can offer the services. I'm scheduled for a procedure next Thursday, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to have it or not. <laughs> so I offered our building. <laughs> and, you know, it's it's critical for my health care. So um, this apparently would happen before in Brockton. I I think that was called 27 years ago. Cardinal Cushing Hospital, which is now Good Sam, had a fire and they were closed for 18 months. So we cannot do that. The mayor has met with the governor and uh, everybody else under the sun, all the feds, everybody, about trying to get assistance in here and get this thing back up and running because the city the size of Brockton cannot function with just one hospital. And uh, But what was miraculous the other day, all the evacuations out of that hospital, not a single injury. That's, That's amazing great. when you think of something on that, you know, that yeah, scale, you, yeah. you know, that no, there was not a single injury. And uh, it just, you know, having gone through the hospital many times, you know, different places in it, it's like, you know, without elevators, they have to transfer the patients down stairwells. Oh, you know, every opportunity that something could go wrong, and nothing did. So very thankful for our firefighters and those from 11, I think 11 other communities that came. At one point, there were 11 fire chiefs on duty there. And... Uh, so very thankful for that, but we want to, you know, just keep your ears, you know, open and listening for any updates, you know, as to how things will go here in Brockton. But again, uh, for activities, uh, those that have activities, please make sure that you email me. Just go to happeninginbrockton.com, and you'll have an email address there. Send me the information, 
and I will get it posted sometimes within three minutes of receiving the notice. Uh, it's not that I sit around all day waiting for that, but it just happened to be at my computer all the time, so it's a top priority because we want to promote Bro uh, Brockton. Uh, I updated Ann a little bit the other day. I, I ended up doing a funeral on Sunday, and uh, the family was afraid to come to Brockton for the funeral. Oh. And uh, we need to change that attitude out there. And it's only going to happen as we get busy and promote Rockton. And uh, the mayor, I know, has some initiatives coming up that he's, he's really excited about. And so I'm not going to steal his thunder. I'll let him do that uh, when he announces all these programs. But again, it's, it's important for us to get the word out there. And again, uh, there's flyers there, so grab one. Uh, or two or ten, five, whatever you need uh, for the Irish concert coming up on March 4th. We're looking forward to that. It's always a highlight event. So thank you for joining us tonight and thank you to BCA for making the recording and broadcasting of this possible. Have a great night. Stay warm. <laughs>